recently appointed as the CEO of Digicel St. Lucia. Nikima Roya is also chairman of the Digicel Group Business Continuity Management Team. Now, Nikima has over 16 years experience in senior marketing and business development roles and has a passion for disaster recovery and business contingency. This morning, she presents Digital Transformation, a Caribbean perspective. Nikima, are you here with us? Happy, happy Friday to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good morning. Thank you so very much for inviting me to speak and having me with you today. You're very welcome. It's all yours. Thank you so much. So I'm going to present my screen for you. Um, so just to get started, um, like um, I would have been introduced, I am Nikki Maroy, uh, John Baptist, um, and I was previously the CEO of Digicel uh, Dominica and the chairman of the uh, Digicel Group Business Continuity Team. And that actually fits really nicely into what we're talking about today. Uh, one of the things I, I really hold dear to my heart is within every adversity comes an opportunity. And out of the devastation of Hurricane Maria and Irma that the Caribbean would have suffered in 2017, Dominica specifically had the opportunity to support our government with their digital transformation platform. Um, and digital transformation integrates digital technologies into a business, fundamentally changing how the company operates and delivers value to customers. These changes help businesses grow their lives, enhance their customers' relationships, save money by optimizing how the business is run. And in most cases, it attracts and retains customers. And, you know, when we think about adversity, who can neglect where we currently are right now with the COVID pandemic? It's been two years. And unfortunately, it doesn't seem as if we're out of the woods quite as yet. So as the world tries to cope with the disruption that the COVID-19 pandemic has brought, many companies have accelerated their digital transformation program in search of new ways to deliver value, generate revenue, and improve efficiency. Digicel Business conducted an anonymous survey of over 1,900 businesses across the Caribbean to find out where they are on the digital transformation. And you can see that it is varied, with about 77% of them saying that the COVID-19 pandemic accelerated their digital strategy. Um, and some of the drivers for that would be, of course, moving to remote working, you know, when the lockdowns happened, the restrictions happened, we needed to keep our businesses operating. We had individuals, our teams, as well as countries and general citizenry customers depending on us to keep doing what we needed to do. Um, and also, you know, increasing the demand for mobile services. When we think that our customers um, and the general, general citizenry were on lockdown, they were at home. They needed everything they wanted to be available to them. So what are the major barriers into getting into, um, to undertaking your digital transformation? The primary driver is insufficient technical skill sets. Um, we're, although technology is available for us, our teams and even the general public may not necessarily be where they need to be to be able to take on the technologies that are available. And what's interesting to note here is that number two, three, four, and five all lead in to the insufficient skill sets. What is really important to, to take away is there are companies and individuals available to support in this, Digicel, of course, being one of them. And as a business that is looking to undertake a digital transformation strategy and or program, it is really important to utilize your partners as trusted advisors, consultants, let them work with you, let them work with their team to understand what your needs and wants are, what your vision is, to be able to bring your, your team up um, up the ladder, so to say, so that they can really take advantage of the opportunities that are um, presented. So we understand what the barriers are. Of course, we need to understand what the consequences are. And I, I fundamentally believe all of us would have faced one of these at some point in time. However, as technology continues to evolve, this is going to become even more pressing for us to ensure that we are protecting our businesses, building resilience, and again, taking advantage of the opportunities that are 
presented. Um, and what we don't want is for all of these to hit us all at once, because that could really put our businesses and our teams in some dire um, straits. So we definitely need to be aware. We don't want to lose relevance in the marketplace. You know, if your competitor is ahead of you on your digital transformation, your customers are going to lead to them. It's going to be difficult for you to attract that and retain that new talent because, you know, the, the generations that are coming up, um, that is what their focus is. You know, one of the things I think about is I have a 14 year old son um, and he wants to be an ICT engineer. And I believe that he's going to get into the workforce by the time he's about 20, 21, maybe 22, depending on what he chooses to do with education. But most likely he's going to have a job that hasn't even been created as yet. Yeah. So we need to be able to evolve with the technology, with the times, with the talent that's coming up the line to be able to attract and retain them. You could miss out on opportunities opportunities to maximize your profits. And again, you know, COVID has just really demonstrated to us that we need to ensure that we're getting everything, we're looking at everything, we're really maximizing efficiencies to be able to ensure that our businesses continue continue to be profitable. Um, you, of course, may neglect efficiencies so as to be competitive. If your competitor is ahead of you on this journey, you're going to be playing catch up and that is going to impact your bottom line. And then I think you, like our businesses may just become less valuable, not even from a dollar perspective, but from a customer perspective. If we're not adding value to our customers, to our team, to our business, to our countries, to, you know, um, of course, there is going to be um, an impact to us um, within, within our different industries. You know, um, there are great examples of companies who have made uh, small strategic changes to achieve some form of digital transformation. And these are two case studies, just to give you some examples. And it is worthwhile noting that different types of businesses have different needs from SMEs to enterprise to government to multinational all have different digital transformation needs and strategies. For example, Digicel was in a great position um, as we were able to allow our applications remotely, able to secure employees over insecure networks, access safety in the onset of the, the pandemic. So if we take a look at Excellent Stores, um, Excellent Stores is a large department store based in Trinidad and more recently in St. Lucia. Um, and they saw the advantage of a full end-to-end -end digital experience for their customers, understanding the trends um, in customer buying behavior. He also wanted to create efficiencies in the business as everything was on paper and keeping track of inventory was time consuming, inaccurate. And I think all of us know the challenges of paper in our business. Um, he, he, took, he wants to be the next Amazon, so to say. Um, and one of the biggest barriers for them was the human factor, the training of their internal staff to embrace the new culture and technology. Um, this is an ongoing project, but they have already seen positive returns in man hours, accuracy of data, leveraging the sales data to improve their buying. And then there's also a culture shift taking place with their teams as they embrace what's to come in the future that's to come and the conveniences that are available to them by digitizing. Uh, the next one is the Ministry of Education, Science, Culture, and Sports of Curacao. The Ministry of Education um, embarked on a digitization journey in 2019 in order to moder modernize and centralize the education structure on the island to bring Curacao to the front in education. They connected five schools across the island with high-speed networks to serve a robust and reliable platform. The platform supports initiatives such as the partnerships with Microsoft to implement Microsoft 365 education for the entire ministry and all school boards and schools. The Internet Connectivity Project places children in Curacao at the forefront of access to technology and education in the Caribbean and in the ABC Islands in particular. Access to technology enables personalized learnings and equips our children with the digital skills that they will need for the 21st century careers, ensuring no child gets left behind. And again, for me, um, my son is the center of my universe, right? So this 
especially resonates with me for a couple of different reasons. One, it's utilizing connectivity as your base foundation and then putting software and systems and processes on top of it to just be able to increase efficiencies and again, adding value to those that you're serving. And then the second thing here is of course with education. You know, our children are coming up and if we take a look um, a few slides back, where we spoke about the, 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 the barriers is the insufficient skill sets. These type of solutions supports our children getting excited for technology, getting excited for a digital world and applying the things that they already learn outside to their, their studies. So super happy and, and proud of Digicel to have been part of both of these, um, these success stories. And again, it's a journey, right? Um, and when we look at what that journey is about, it's overwhelming. You know, when we think about digitization and the digital transformation, such big words, such huge things, you know? But here's the key, guys. We just got to start, and we start simple. There are challenges all over the place, but the first three easy steps to take, and we're only presenting three, you will get some more information in, in the report that I would have mentioned earlier, and the link will be made available to you. But we're going to start simple with three easy steps. Understand how a digital strategy can help you. And if you'll remember, I mentioned rely on your partners, rely on those consultants. They know, they have an understanding, they have case studies, they have history, they have experience, they have the skill sets. So pull them in um, to that conversation as you work through where do you want to be and what do you want to do. Ensure priorities and sponsorship within your organization. One of the biggest challenges to executing an effective strategy is lack of sponsorship, lack of buy-in. And this needs to be throughout the entire business. So starting at the top as the CEO, you know, we feel that everything is the be all and end all is with us. However, there needs to be layers of sponsorship, layers of buy-ins within the business so that you bring the entire organization with you on this journey. And of course, choose that right partner to work with. They need to be trusted. They need to understand you. They need to understand what your vision is. You know, what do you want to achieve? Why do you want to achieve it so that you can definitely work together? And that's what um, Excellence Stores, as well as the Ministry of um, Education and Carousel would have done, had conversations with us, brought us through what their history is, what their vision is, what are the challenges they have, so that together we could really build that firm partnership to be able to progress on what their journey is. And I know this is overwhelming and um, you know we're moving through quickly, but this is super, super simple, right? Um, and if everybody remembers KISS, right? Um, think big, start small, pick your crown jewel. What is that one thing that you just think, if I did this, it would have such an amazing impact on us? What's important to you? And start there. With Excellent Stores, they started on paperless. You know, how do they remove paper from their entire business? Do you know how much money we could save if we all did that? Not to mention the trees, right? Thinking about climate change as well. But definitely just pick that one thing. Think super, super big. What's your end vision? But start small. Small steps forward will definitely help us into getting to where we need to be in the future. So with that, like I said, there is our digital transformation research report and guide. Again, we anonymously um, surveyed 1,900 businesses across the region to pull together the data and the trends, as well as some um, indications of how do you get started. And of course, Digicel Business is here to support you on your journey. So thank you so very much for having me with you today. Um, and please feel free to reach out to me and any members of our team across Digicel Business across the region. We're here to support you on your digital transformation. And remember, you know, a small step could yield some massive, massive results. So let's get started today.